Hi, this is Jeff, and in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can create your own button sets in Articulate Storyline. So recently a friend of mine was playing with uh, buttons, and you can find those in the Insert tab and in the button area. And he said, well, there are only a couple of button types available, and I want to use my own. Um, and I, There's no indication that I can, but there actually is a way you can do that. Uh, any shape, picture, or whatever you've got uh, can be a button in the in storyline. Uh, and an example that I've got here uh, is where you started playing around with shapes on objects. So you've got a simple shape here, uh, and in the states section, so in my timeline, I've got my arrow one. In the states section, I just added another uh, state. So to do that, I click Edit States add a new state, then I can select one of the predefined states um, and I did that already for the Hoover state here and I just simply added my picture to that so what that looks like is this, so now when I hover over this shape uh, this picture appears and there's a small fading animation on that picture um, and that's nice, but one of the things that make a button a button is the fact that you know you can click it, right? And here my mouse pointer stays a mouse pointer and doesn't change in the hand icon that you see on the buttons. So, the reason is that because even though I added states to this shape, it still isn't a button. To create a button out of this, I simply right-click the shape, select button set, click new set, and this one button is pointing at RNM. There we go. It also immediately adds another uh, state. So if you don't want that, you gotta uh, adjust that. But now, if I preview this, voila! So there's a clear indication for a user that something's happening here. This is an item that you can click on. So this could point on to additional information or whatever. So from the start, I simply add a shape, and I've got nothing here. I edit the state, select a new state, a Hoover state, done. Now, to add this Hoover state, I'm going to add a picture. There we go, a nice picture of Tessel, where I asked my wife to marry me, and done. I right click the shape, turn it into a button set, call it Tessel, there we go, and when I preview this, voila, this does the exact same thing as the button below now. So that's how easy it is to create your own button sets, um, if you use a button set uh, quite often. Uh, the easiest way I think is to store it in a storyline uh, project file and you can copy and paste that into uh, or in a template and you can just uh, use that throughout all your courses where you will require them. So that's it. Creating your own uh, button sets by inserting any picture, shape or even a character uh, and just making a button set out of them by right clicking them.